Hi friends. Over the weekend, Trevor and I were out in our kayak and we saw so many things living in, around, uh, above, below this lake that we were in. And it really made me think about the type of life that a lake would support. So I have this book today called over and under the pond. So we're gonna read the story and then I'm going to show you some special videos I took of our adventure out on the lake. Let's take a look at Over and Under the Pond. Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. over and under the pond. Oh, and we're, we're already seeing some pond life. There are some fish, a frog, water lilies, that's an aquatic plant. Aquatic is a fancy word that means it goes with the water. And there's a dragonfly. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says. Let me see what's in there. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. There they are up in their boat. And all of this is happening down below. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. There's the water skaters on the top, the little tiny minnows, and look at this big trout. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh, under the pond. Oh, something else living in the lake up here. Over the pond, Cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cucklery, cucklery. Red winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. There's the beaver's big flat tail. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Look at that baby bird about to leave the nest. Under the pond, the tadpoles are changing learning to hop, they're losing tails, 
growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long legged step, and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. It goes snap, snaps that fish right up. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, Dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. There they are. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. And there he is, that little crayfish, escaping a hungry raccoon. That's him. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump right up onto shore as a far off loon calls good night. That's the loon, it's a water bird. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles. The scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turned frogs. Wading herons and stalking raccoons. and the hidden world under the pond. And that's the end. And now I'll share with you some videos that I took over the weekend of some of the aquatic life that Trevor and I noticed when we were out on the lake in our kayak. Let's take a look. Mom. What do you see, Trev? Um. Um, the tan dot on here. Oh, so you can see we are in our boat on the lake, but look at this. There's plants growing in the water and some of them even got on our paddle. Let's take a closer look. Whoa, so green and stringy. Let's see, I'm actually gonna reach in and touch some of this stuff. Can you move the paddle a little bit, Trev? Wow, it is like all vines and stuck together. But that's it, feel like? It feels kind of like a pine tree. It's almost a little bit prickly. Can I touch it? Yeah, of course. Oh, <laughs> what is this stuff like I'm not sure what this plant is called. We can look it up later. Ew, I don't want to touch that anymore. Let's paddle a little bit through the plants. But, but the I have a special waterproof case on my phone, so we're gonna try and put it under the water and see if we can get a closer view at what things look like under there. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's pretty dark down there. This is maybe educational video. Oh, 
Some of these plants look a little bit different than the ones we saw before. Let's dive in. We just saw a whole bunch of birds flying in and out of some of the holes on this tree. Here they come. Oh. Whoa. Look at those birds go. You think they're having an argument or are they playing together? Coming up, we have some water birds called loons. Oops, I made a mistake. These birds are They're cormorants, out of the water here. not loons. They're out of the water drying their wings. That one's getting back in, and let's see if we can see him dive under the water. They can swim under the water. Oh, he just went down. Let's see where this one will go. Oh, he went right under. He really swim on top. There he goes, over there. Where is he going? I don't know. Maybe he's going to catch up with his buddy. Where's his buddy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Farther ahead. There he goes. Oh, he's moving fast. He's so mad. You think he's mad? Yeah. I can see a little fish in there. He's going to be hard to get on video. They're a little scared of people. Oh. Oh, where'd he go? You were almost about to touch one. Is that a line right there? Or did this a rock? Mom, you touch this fish. I'm scared to touch this fish. I'm not touching them. I'm just looking. <sighs> oh, there he goes again. <laughs> now what did we find? A ladybug. Oh, turn your hand so he doesn't fall in. A ladybug in the water. And we took him out so no fish would eat him. My dad tells him and I want him to go on my hand. So we have better choice in the water dead. Great. I wonder what's going Over here we found something very special. Do you see that? That's a turtle egg. That's right, they're very delicate. There's two more over here. So we can't pick them up or touch them, but... Look at them. So cool. We can be one of those turtles home. I hope you enjoyed Over and Under the Pond and checking out all those great videos of life out on the lake. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Bye.